perfectly balmy for my decadent Swedish lamb stew. This stew is really special because it gets laced with some pears. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as we get to creating it. This lamb stew is really very simple and it just has a seasoning like black pepper to accentuate it. So into my cast iron goes in nearly 25 to 30 mils of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to scent this with really sharp flavors, very Scandinavian in nature, like the beautiful, beautiful berries, that's the juniper berries. Into that goes in about eight cloves of garlic. I want some heat, so about four green chilies finely chopped, totally optional. And lastly, some dehydrated rosemary from my garden. Just allow it all to sweat really well together. The trick to this effective stew is to allow everything to burnish together. So while the garlic has turned nice and brown, in goes two red onions, just roughly cut up. Now you want this to brown as well. Roughly tear four to five bay leaves and throw that in. And now lastly, in goes one and a half kg of lamb bone in, cut into about two to three inch pieces. Now you want this to brown and brown for a good 15 minutes on the highest possible heat. Well seared, now is the time to season it with some regular sea salt and an overload of some black pepper. So nearly two teaspoons of black pepper to bring that heat about really well. And lastly, in goes four cups of hot lamb stock. A quick stir and bring it to a roaring boil. Into a preheated oven this goes at 160 degrees centigrade for just about an hour. And then we're gonna add all vegetables right in. You can also go right ahead and cook it on the stove top on the slowest possible simmer. An hour up, it's just time to add the vegetables right in. Sharp scents of the black pepper and the juniper berries. Now is the time just to add the vegetables right in. So I've taken four potatoes, just cut them into half. Peel them so that they cook in this lovely mix along with some haricot beans, 250 grams of that. And lastly, not forgetting the elegant pears, four of them just go right on top. They render their sweetness and bake to perfection. Into the oven it goes back again for another one hour. Simmer to perfection for nearly two hours, this decadent Swedish lamb stew is ready. Now either you enjoy it just like this with some pilaf or go right ahead, take out the lamb, the vegetables and the pears and just thicken the sauce with a cornflour slurry. Just go right ahead and garnish it with some freshly chopped parsley and you're ready to dig right into it. The juniper berries, the pepper and the pears create some kind of magic in this Swedish lamb stew. I hope you enjoyed creating this one with me, a brunch in wonder or a weekday dinner done right. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a note below.